this is Major Clanger for Gonzo Victor, Airsoft. Really place to die. Welcome to part two of the data capture video series. Where? What? In part one, you uh, saw us taking the uh, laptops. We got three laptops to the, the aeroplane and um, and started holding off against the, the enemy as they tried to push on. Rod here has spotted Red. the en enemy carrying a third laptop. And so, the, as the expression goes, the best form of defence is attack. This is an opportunity for us to try and flank some of the, the enemy who are carrying the, the laptop. We'll probably see a concentration of them, and they're going to be mostly focused on getting to the aeroplane. So, this is our chance to cut them out. Rod takes one down. So we give you kind of a rough uh, position here on the left hand side is the area with the plane and the fortifications that you saw in the, the earlier video and you'll see us back there later on. If you didn't catch the, the first part of this video uh, there'll be an annotation right, watch fire from our own side here. Click on that and you'll see what was going on. So at Land Warrior Airsoft here, they don't use any form of team tape and Jack! there's no Jack! enforced uh, uniform stuff. Uh, another site that I play at, um, AEG, um, when you sign up you pick a particular team and that will either be a Desert Cam or, or DPM Green Cam and they force the players to use uh, that camo so you can easily differentiate between your team and the enemy. Uh, this site doesn't do that at all. I think they, they do it now just to try and uh, promote communication. And it can be very, very difficult in situations like we were in there to uh, differentiate between who's friend and foe. And in fact, the, the chap on the right here has just fallen foul of not knowing what our call and response was. Right, come on. And he's taking some friendly fire, so we'll drag him back into the into the fold. Where's the medic? So you see us here. Uh, the position where I was with Rod uh, is just on, maybe about 300 on, foot ahead of here. So this is where we were taking friendly fire inbound, and we did come across a little nest of of the enemy. <laughs> yeah! And it looks like they've been putting steady fire in on the, the what group. What happened to the bunch that were in there? We've got that. We've got all the laptops here now. We're all the ones that we're interested in. What happened to the bunch of guys that were in the phones there? So whenever I enter a new area, Certainly in a game like this where you've, we've been spread out, always keen to find out where we're taking fire from, what the si situation is. There we go, more friendlies incoming. Okay. That's Rod, he's ours. Take a stinger to the top lip. Now, someone had warned me about uh, the sniper lurking in the in the bushes, and I well, I'm certainly wasn't the the first casualty he'd picked off. But here comes the, the medic to bring me back in. I didn't see where it came from, but it was two nice little shots. Now how often do you see that? So he, he was standing medic, in exactly medic, the position medic. where I got hit. So 
it's a, it's a lesson that is, is painfully learnt and uh, so I've fallen failed of it myself. You see someone gets uh, taken out and you're keen to try and hold the line. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're, we're looking after ourselves. So you stand up in their position and end up getting hit yourself. So Rod on the right has spotted a, a group of enemy moving oh, what, right at the, the far reach of the this area. And it looks like they're making a, a play, they're trying to flank oh, us down, down. Next down. We need to get him back in. And we've only got three medics between the whole team and we know that one of them is down. I lost track of what happened to the right, you get him, I'll cover you. chap with the ginger hair. Go, 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 go. Okay, this situation is bad. We're now taking serious fire. We've lost the medic at, at, at the bottom. At this point, the enemy have a very good chance of rolling up on us and, and taking control of the aeroplane. We've got a few options. We can stay and try and... I can stay and try and hold on. Good time for the... A medic to get to us, but we're into the last couple of minutes here. So sometimes it's more important to play the objective than to try and claim the kills. So I leg it back to right, drop boys, three. Tell all the players who are here. Back. Especially Grant, who's the third medic, Grant, to get back ASAP plane, so we can stand a chance of, of holding this plane. I don't know what it's like for you, but as a player, I, I'm always objective focused. Now, sometimes playing the objective does mean Yellowing digging coming. in and trying to get as many kills as you can, but right, we've got three or four there'll be games that I will go. Bush. And I may not kill anyone, but as long as I've contributed to the team achieving the objective, then I'm completely happy with that game. By the time we get back, um, Nick had um, actually managed to make it to in and got these, these guys back in, so the situation's looking a bit healthier. So the chap I'm waving to is the, the sniper who had hit me and some of the other the players. He just You're good. taken out, giving him a acknowledgement. Light or no? I've got a strike, I might have a strike there. No, is it the Okay, we're now into the, the dying seconds of the game. Enemy's making a run for the oh, plane, but uh, it's a last gasp effort, which ultimately proves fruitless. We hold the plane, we complete the objective. This is Major Clanger, out. <laughs>